All right, so here's the starting lineup for today's project. First, our touch pad RV lock. This is probably one of the most exciting things that we have done to the RV yet. I don't know, maybe slide toppers, but this is exciting. Everything is gonna be on one key, which is amazing. For the actual lock, we're not going to need a key because we're gonna have this cool fob. So a couple things. Make sure you have the correct lock. Apparently there are right-handed and left-handed. These are good for trailers and fifth wheels. Apparently there are specific models for class A's and class C's. So just check with RV lock before you go buying, make sure you're getting the right one. So what we have for the main door, we have the touch pad also works with a fob. We have two slam latch mechanisms. And then we are also going to replace the locks in our regular storage bins. And the best part, all of this is one key. So all I plan on using today are these three screwdrivers. I don't like to use electric drills on stuff like this because I have a bad habit of stripping screws because I'm a maniac with the trigger. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do handheld the whole time. I'll use this to push in the deal to reset the code. Um, and this is everything it comes with. For the slam hatches, the strike plate, for here and these are these are all the instructions i was a little intimidated because of the lack of instructions but i've watched three videos on how to install these and it looks super easy so we're just going for it so hopefully by the end of today all of our locks are going to be on one key and it's going to be amazing all right so if you know anything about me it is that i am not very handy so I'm gonna do the best I can without making a fool of myself here. Uh, from what I've seen on YouTube videos, it looks pretty simplistic. So we'll just go for it. I'll undo these screws and then we'll slide this piece in, connect them, this piece goes in, should be done. We'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. You ready on the stopwatch? I'm ready. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. All right, on your mark, get set. I just noticed this only has one screw in it. Oh. <laughs> That's, oh yeah, I remember when that happened. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. All right, hey Mark, get set. Let's go. No. Oh, it's weird. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh, is that styrofoam? Yeah, it's a styrofoam in there. Oh. Well, that part was. Uh, not that intimidating at all. But now, in theory, all I need to do, I gotta make sure this goes through here. It goes through here. And I muscle it a little bit. All right, that is in. That looks like it fits pretty good. I know what I didn't check. Yeah. I didn't check if this thing had batteries on it. I guess we'll find out here in a second with the beeps. Oh, the beep. There's the beep. That's good. That's a good sign. Let's put that up there. Let's line these up here. Now, something that I hadn't even considered until just now. So we have this Zarkor shade on there. And when I lined it up, I was scared that it was gonna be in the way, but it's not, we still got full range. All right. Beautiful. What we got here? 10 minutes. So that's a, uh, that's a 10 minute install. And actually, I think I think on the packaging, it says it's about a 10 minute install. So that's it, what I'm gonna do now is go get the fob and gonna reprogram the code and get that working. All right, so on here, there is a button that says fob learn and then get a paper clip. I had these little tiny like eyeglass screwdrivers. You're gonna go in and press the button That's it. You hear the little beep, you press the lock button, the long beep to confirm, 
And now let's see how we got. That's it. Hit the lock button. Lock comes out. Hit the unlock button. That's satisfying. How easy is that? All right, let's pull out some lovely, ooh, look at that autofocus. You know what I mean? Slam hatch time. Now this, this is a bit of a wild card only because something about this might be a little too deep. I also saw Chad's install from Changing Lanes talking about how these channels that the slam hatch goes into were deeper than what was on his momentum. So I'm not sure if that's something that Grand Design uses on all of them. If so, I may have to do like he does and kind of channel out to make room for that. All right, so I just popped off the first slam hatch. These rivets were a little bit tricky. I just had to basically hammer them off and I'm just gonna put the screws through them and hope for the best. All right, next order of business is taking these out and installing the ones that came from RV lock. All right, so we may just got lucky. The, so down on the bottom, I'll, I just showed it with the GoPro, but I'll show you here. So these channels that come with a little more secure than the ones that are stock on the Grand Design because they're literally twice the depth of the ones from Grand Design. So I'm sure they have a much more secure grip once it's locked. The problem is, is when you pull up the one from Grand Design, there is metal frame underneath there. So I'll literally have to chip out a hole in that metal frame. And to be honest, that's just something that I'm not comfortable with, but it looks like I can leave the ones from Grand Design on there and the new slam hatches will fit. Again, not as secure, but I'm also not the kind of guy to go digging holes in metal on my fifth wheel, so. Uh-oh. Whoa! Okay. That's fun. So, uh, so much for that now. Screw. That's fine. <laughs> Moment of truth. I'm scared. All right, now the moment of truth. The key that opens our front door. Oh yeah, baby. And all the other bags. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got, I got the camera up so high you can't even, <laughs> you can't even see Leah doing her demo. There it is. I was impressed. It's the same key for our front door, but it also is like sturdy in there. It's not like wiggling and jiggling like the yeah. factory lock. And I, I think, Yay. I think that when you drop that thing, that's solid. Woo. I'm not saying it wasn't solid before, but uh, it wasn't that solid. So that's nice. All right, two down. I feel like getting away. Yeah. Then what do we have behind <laughs> door number two? More baggage compartments. So I've never messed with these before. I have no idea how to do these. Although this looks like you unscrew this. Oh, I need a. I do need a. I actually had those fires right there. Oh, I didn't even notice this little nut here until just now. Oh, that, that was on there pretty snug too. And down. That's just... A little washer. worried. I did read some reviews that this is way too long and I'm looking at that. And this is not looking promising. Yeah, that might be too long. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try it. You know, what's the worst that can happen? Does it work? How many of these do we this have? This is the new one. That's the new one. This okay. is the new one. Oh my god, how many do we have? Oh, because there's two of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a pretty smart guy. So people are probably watching this like, wow, this guy is a buffoon. <laughs> to which I say, yeah, yeah, I know. All right, here's what I need. I'm gonna need a tool. <laughs> Oh. oh, the comedy show begins. We got bummer news. It works, but because the locking mechanism is so much thicker than the other one, when we lock it, there's about a half inch 
of play in the uh, in the door. So that's not going to work out, which is a bummer. All right, so that was actually not as difficult as I was expecting it to be. You know, the funny thing is the slam hatches in the actual door lock was the easiest. These baggage things were a pain, man, because they're just a little long. Uh, but we, we figured out if you keep the old latch and just flip it backwards, it works like a charm. But now we have one key for the front door. Oh. All of so the hatches, yeah, the, the two it. storage bins, one. the two slam hatches. Two. Oh man, that's a beautiful thing. Allegedly. Well, I mean, <laughs> if you don't put a table in front of it, yeah, it works right? great. See? Pay no attention to the mess in the basement. Woo. Oh man. And then this thing, man, this, this was the quickest to put on our wall. 10 minutes and that thing was done program everything's good works oh one modification i did have to make so this strike plate and apparently this is common for our model the 31 mb i had to take this off flip it upside down make sure it was seated all the way to the back and now it's fine before that I couldn't get it to latch. You would just push on it, push on it, push on it, and it wouldn't latch. So if you have a 31 MB, or honestly, maybe all the reflections are this way, be careful. So if you put it on and you can't get your door to shut, take your strike plate off, flip it upside down, make sure it's seated as far back as it can be, and uh, you should be good to go. It's like that, what are we gonna do now? Drop things off at Goodwill. Yes, more purging. All right, goodbye.